Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna take all the gold and everything here, and I'm gonna run back to where my other house is. Because this is just shit crazy. This is just bat shit insane. Got another shackle. I still don't know how to use the breathing rod. Why can I not use the breathing rod? I need to look that up one point. Find out why the breathing rod does not want to work. Alright, so I need to make my way across the corrupted again, corruption again. Only this time it should be easier because I went and laid those bridges out ahead of time. And I wonder what's down here. Probably nothing important, and I'm probably right, because I always am, when it comes to things like this. I say just make a break for it. I don't care anymore for this side of the map. All there is is corruption, death, and the strange smell of earthworm. I'll be back here later when it's more relevant and there's actually a reason. <coughs> so many of these things though seriously really though I could just make a run for it at this point it, this is literally why all these bridges are here so I can make a run for it if I want to I only got five potions left though wonder what's down here actually ooh shadow orb break that and uh, some interesting things happen the problem is to break that we need to get rid of this ebon stone and to get rid of this ebon stone, well, we either need a good pickaxe or something else. Which we can't get unless we defeat a boss. And since we haven't had an opportunity to fight a boss yet, well, we're you know, kind of out of luck there. In any case, let's kill these guys so I can set up a way back up this mountain. This is like the one part of the whole thing I didn't actually plan out well enough. guy's gonna follow me up, so let him I say. Just run. Run away! Just don't let any of those worms have a chance to spawn. I can handle the eater of souls, just not the stupid worms. Okay, I'm close enough to the... Get out of the same space I'm occupying. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. Alright, I'm almost there. I see sand. I see some of the first bridges I built. I see where I died that hundred thousand times ten episodes ago or something. And I'm out. Okay, good. Oof. Ugh. I say let's just make it back. Oop. First though. Alright. So. This has been one hell of a journey. All for naught. Aside from the breathing rods, but... Again, I don't know how you use those. They, they just don't seem to have a purpose or a reason to use them. It's tempting to go underground again, but I don't know. I'm already borderlining on three days here. I don't want to push my luck. Well, let's at least get a mushroom while I'm here. Because I'm going to need a shitload more potions after all that. I don't know if I'm just bad at this game, or... Am I really within third of the spawn point already? So many trees. So many tall trees. Are these the ones I planted or not? I don't remember. Uh, this looks like actually a good place for that thing. Yeah, let me actually mark the zone out here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the launch pad here when I start building the actual rocket. Just leaving that... Uh, maybe I should make it a more visible marker so I don't forget that it's a marker. There, something I can't. I have to jump over. That ought to be man-made enough to validate as something worthwhile. 
Uh, now I just gotta simply walk all the frickin' way back. I really wish there was a bit of a faster travel method. I mean, there is a way I could get to my base almost instantaneously. Well, no, not anymore. After what I've done, it doesn't work anymore. Basically, if you exit... I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before. If you exit the game, you will return to your spawn point. So, that's kind of why sometimes I just pop back there at the end of a video or something. But in this case, I actually changed the spawn point, so that really isn't going to work this time around. It's not going to fly. Flu or something? I don't know. In any case, I'm just going to... Funny falling down a slope. Let's just get back. All the way to the end. Get a mushroom, because mushrooms are good for my health. I really can't tell if my thing's draining out slower or not. I don't think it is. There's only mushrooms on the way back, though. It really is tempting to just do something in the underground next time, but I'm not sure. I'm I'm in an exploration mood. I want to kind of check out to the right now, because if both the corruptions are on this side of the map, what the hell is on the far right? If there is another corruption, I will be amazed. Because there there should only be two per map, unless they change something. or I don't know, maybe the map size depends. I, I, I don't think it should, though, because in all cases, it should still be just two corruptions. It shouldn't have three. So either that's a map bug or something else is going on here that I'm not aware of. Hmm. It's hard to say. I don't think of it. I wasn't paying attention. How close am I to the, uh, to my house now? I think I'm pretty close. I think I remember this place a little. When I get close enough, I'll recognize the place. I think I'm almost there, actually. Yeah, I'm almost there. Here I am. I'm here now. Here's where I got that stone that first bit of time, and here's my nice little sunflower grove. I am home. Oh my god, that was a terrible experience. Let us never do that again. Yeah, I don't need to know who... Why am I even trying to right-click the thing? Just make what I want. Eh, uh, arrows, wooden stone, don't care. I want to save the copper I have, because I actually have a plan for those. Just translate these into bars, since I don't have any other reason for them. Make some leather. Uh, go into the communal chests here. Put these stars in here. Refill my potions. Get out what mushrooms I have. What happened to my bottles? Oh yeah, I used them all up. Right. Oh, right, don't want to use the copper. Don't forget that. That'd be stupid. Bottles. Potions. Just make a ton of potions. Just keep my bases covered. Now let's just carry another stack, just in case. Right, um, what else? Uh, put the bomb in... Right, I can only carry 20 stacks. Put the dynamite in here. That stuff's dangerous. Let's see, put the rotten chunks in here. I am holding onto this bed because that was a stupid move on my part to get rid of it. Deposit iron bars. Iron ore. Which I have so much of, I might as well make a helmet if only just to have it. I don't know, I need to find a way to use copper bars for something else. I found mushrooms. Do I want to use... Let's just store those. Fishbowl. Na -na -na -na. Actually, let's move some of this stuff over. Archaeologist hat is a treasure. Fishbowl, not so much, but I want it in there anyway. Because it deserves its own place in the chest. Alright. Might as well keep some of these on hand, in case I need them. Put the shuriken in there. Lenses stack. Acorns. Acorns. 
a corny joke. Yes, it was. The goldfish. Platforms. Wood. Breathing tubes, which I can't use for some reason. Put that in the treasure chest. Yeah, it's quite literally my treasure chest. Go make a joke about it. And where do I want to put this? Actually, I can I can combine the mud. Okay, good. Um, nothing new for the spaceship, I don't believe. Because I haven't really done much. I've been too busy trying not to die. Dirt, hold on to that. Uh, chest. Oh, actually, I guess I could put this chest in here. No, I got one chest for the ship, I guess. Uh, uh, let's see. Am I in the mood to do much more to the right here? Should I wonder, what should I do? Um, you know what? Let me see what how many cobwebs I have. Quite a lot. Let's go upstairs. Make some silk. Translate those into beds. So now I have some of those on hand. Stop beating up the guide, Mr. Slime. He's done nothing wrong to you. Oh, and I had three in storage, too. Wait. Wait, why am I... Oh, no, that's shuriken. Never mind. Uh, what do I do? I suppose I can work on the ceiling for this place, but I'll need more copper ore. I don't want to steal from the uh, rocket, either. Oh, what the hell. Let's start working on the roof, then. So I decided I'm going to make the roof out of not gold. Uh, I'm going to make it out of copper. Only 17 bricks of copper. That sucks. That should be a wide enough overhang. Alright. That should do for at least part of the wall. That is kind of awesome that they trapped him like that, but I won't let it stand. Okay, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to travel to the right. I am going to go ahead and travel to the right. When it starts to get really dark, and if I haven't, if I got into a place where I'm significantly fur far from uh, the other places, I'm gonna build a temporary shelter. Because having tiny spawn points here and there really do make a difference. Like all these beds here, which I completely wasted on this building. Hooray! Let's go right. See what I can find. It's gonna be a little bit of a late night journey. Not sure if I'm going to stop. It's only been th day three of what would probably be a four-day thing. Uh, let's see, what day is it, actually, based on my time clock here? Uh, 20 day 24, I guess. This is day 24, which is coming to an end. I swear, if there's another blood moon, I am going to be pissed. Two blood moons in a night. Just, just you wait on it. It's going to happen. It is so effing going to happen. Just like it happened while I was in between the corruptions. At least it wasn't during my trip back through one of them, I suppose, but yeah. Chasing after the sun. Trying my best to survive and not die. I don't think I put my coin in the chest. No, I did not. Let me head back right now before I get stupid. And go ahead and deposit what money I have in a chest. Suppose I can put it in the treasure chest. You son of a bitch. Uh, I got 25 seconds. I gotta run. Run. The clock does kind of help, you know, it, it kind of gives you a better sense of time. In a sense, you can kind of even uh, judge. 
Out of my way, slime. Ten seconds. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Holy shit, it actually happened. I thought I was bluffing, but this is this this is two blood moons in a row. Fuck the one out of seven ratio. There is no way that this is happening once every Fuck, no, that that is a no. That just can't be right. This is happening way too op often to be a one of seven chance every night. This is this just cannot be right. I am sorry, but I don't care what you say. This is just not this is not right. I'm just waiting for a stupid corrupt rabbit to appear though. Don't think they like to show up though after nightfall, so as long as I got that going for me. Temporarily block the doors. So I can work in peace here. And I guess I could put my money in the uh treasure chest here, I suppose. Mm, might as well transfer this 15 silver over then. Seriously, why why am I getting so many freaking blood moons? This cannot be a one out of seven rate anymore. Did did they change the rate in an update at some point? They have to. There's no way it could be. It just isn't possible anymore. Alright. So you know what? I don't feel like staying at home anymore. I'm feeling a bit adventurous. Let's see how long I can go rugging. Go for it. that lens. No real reason, just in case. Seriously though, at this rate, if, um, I want to at least show off a boss before day 30. If the first boss of the game does not appear randomly before then, I might just go ahead and spawn him myself. Like I said, there's that monster shrine down there in that first cave I dug. And I have all the things I need to actually make his summoning item, so problem is I'm just not sure if I'm actually ready to take him on yet. All the bosses are rather hard to beat, and you really, you really kind of need really good armor and a pretty good plan going in before you could really uh, take him on pretty uh, effortlessly. Right, in any case, I guess we're just going to keep going right then, on a blood moon. You can just tell there's a lot of disdain in my voice on this. Just hear this annoyance. I'm just waiting for a bunch of corrupt goldfish to show up out of nowhere on fighter planes or something. There's plenty of these flying eyes, that's for sure. Come back here again, nothing. I wonder if this was that first cave I dug down. Might have been. Don't care for a few pieces of copper. I'm just running for it. Alright, well here's that huge sand mesa I was on that one time. Really, so long as you have something to swing, I really don't think you'll even have problems on a blood moon. Look, there's a fallen star. Some type of compensation, I suppose, for this nightmare they're making me go through. 
Just wish I didn't have to go through it. Seriously, I'm gonna be having blood moon nightmares at this rate. At this rate, every night's gonna be a nightmare. What is that? Oh, that's a star. Alright, so once I get back, I'll have enough for another mana upgrade. Oh, and look! The corrupt goldfish! Why am I not surprised? You know, it is possible my uh, air is running out slower. Maybe you just need it in your inventory. I am going to confirm that off screen, though. I say just run for it again. Okay, this looks like a nice open mesa place where I can just build another a nice little uh nice place to build where I can have a s rest stop. Just need to clear some room. Man, it's time like it's times like these. I'm actually kind of wishing I turned on the nice little thing, which lets me basically pause the game whenever I open the inventory. There's so many zombies, and eyeballs, and everything. Looks like the blood's almost out of the sky, though, so I should uh, have a chance here. Die, wretched zombies. This is frickin' insane. They just keep coming. Away, beast. Away! Well, that was convenient. I don't think I'm going to be able to build that temporary shelter until it's nighttime at this rate. Well, not nighttime, daytime. Seriously, I freaking hate blood moons. When is the game going to realize that I don't like them and stop giving them to me? Oh, you know what? I think it's giving them to me because it knows I hate them. Aha, uh -huh, you can't jump over that. Because your jump height is limited. Alright. Got a little piece here. Why don't we go ahead and build that temporary base? Door. I'm keeping the door off the wall until I know I have time to place it without getting killed. Alright. It's almost over. Darn it, need a little more wood. there, torch there. 